Okay, here's three quick tips to save time in 2022. Number one, book time in your calendar for when you are going to stop working. If you had to leave to go on vacation or on holiday, you would leave work to go and catch that flight. Just do the same thing every day. Imagine you're catching a flight or you need to be somewhere else because you do, you need to live as well as work. The work will still be there tomorrow, but your friends and family, unfortunately, might not be. Treasure every moment you can spend with them. You need to work, obviously, but put a time in that you're gonna stop work. That is the one thing you can do that makes everything else easier or irrelevant because you've got a deadline every single day that you need to prioritize what you're gonna do in that day. That is the one thing that you can do that is gonna free up the most of your time. So do that one first. So come into Outlook, get the time you wanna leave, put an appointment in, maybe it's commute, maybe it's just stop working, maybe it's leave work, whatever it is, make it recurring on weekdays and block that time out of your calendar. So no one's gonna put a meeting in and you know when your deadline is to stop working that day. Second thing you can do is to stop using your email inbox as your to-do list. It is the opposite of your to-do list. The email inbox only contains other people's agendas, stuff that you may wanna do, stuff you may not wanna do. It's just everything inbound. It's nothing you've decided to do, unless you're sending yourself emails, which I would also advise against. Uh, it's nothing you wanna do, it's nothing important, it's nothing that you have proactively doing it's everything reactive that's coming in you definitely do not want to use your email inbox also it's 2022 you're probably not getting everything inbound in email anymore you're going to get stuff in teams but if you're not using teams effectively you're probably still getting stuff in whatsapp in telegram in yammer whatever there's loads more inbound stuff you need a task manager to manage everything coming in as well as everything proactive that you want to do so it's not that you don't need an inbox, it's just that you don't need an email inbox. You need one inbox that contains everything inbound from every different channel and everything that you wanna do. And the best place to have that inbox is in a task manager. If you're using Microsoft 365, the best thing you can do is to use Microsoft To Do. And using email as an example, you can just drag your email into To Do and have it there and then get it out of your email inbox and into an archive so that everything's out. You've got nothing in your email inbox and they do the same thing for Teams messages, for whatever inbound stuff you've got. If you want to know more about the nuances of getting stuff out of Outlook and into Microsoft To Do, then check out this video next. If you wanna know how to get a Teams message into To Do, then check out this video next. When you've got some focused time to actually go and do the tasks that you know you need to do already, shut Outlook down, shut Teams down, don't get anything more inbound, just focus on the work you already know you need to do. If you haven't got any focus time yet, then that's what I would recommend that you do. Then you can either do that manually or get Microsoft Viva Insights to do it for you. Number three, and this might be a surprise for people in corporate jobs, meeting invites have an accept and a decline button. Did you even know that? I bet if people removed the decline button off meeting invites, no one would even notice because everyone just accepts any inbound meeting invite because you assume that you need to be there or that it's something important. It's not. You need to decline meeting invites that are not important to you, that you cannot add any value to, that you do not know what will be discussed there if there's no agenda and you don't know why someone's inviting you to the meeting. Any that don't require a decision, any that don't have any pre-work, decline, decline, decline. So what tips do you have to save time at work this year? let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to give it a like. If you really liked this video, consider buying me a beer using the link in the description below to help support the channel even more and keep free content coming out. And if you need more help with the future of work or saving time for your employees at work, then check out some of the resources in the description below. We've got some free courses. You can jump on a free call to get your best next step for yourself or your organization. Whichever is most appropriate for you, go and check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching so far. I'll see you in the next video.